<clears throat> the year is 2021. The polar ice caps surrounding the mythical land of Queens have melted, giving way to a feudalistic island society. Pollution and waste have permanently stained the landscape, and those who still survive do so under hardship and duress. Our heroine, Sophia, finds herself washed ashore in a strange new land where the jacarandas bloom. Where am I? You've come home. Home? What is this place? Welcome to the island of Santa Lucia, a paradise of wondrous dreams and endless possibilities. Come. I will take you to Uku. You must be tired. I will take you somewhere you can rest. Who are you? They call me Ben. Welcome, welcome. Who's this? Who's this? A fresh face. Very fresh. Too fresh. So unclean. We'll have to sort her out. Yes, brother. Oh, this is Sophia. Sophia, Sophia. Unclean Sophia. Yeah. Yes, yes, very unclean. She is very tired. She must rest. Rest, rest. She must rest. Rest as she must. Sorry, but can I have a shower first? Very, very tired. tired. Much too tired. Lie down here. R rest now. Uh, must be sacrificed. Sophia awoke the next day on this strange island, alone and just as afraid as before. But well rested, yes, well rested. What's with all these freaking islands? Why is there no bath or shower in this place? You are awake? How wonderful. Are you well rested? Well, I wouldn't say well rested. There was an ibis staring at me, or there was. Where did it go? I think I'm losing my mind. Can I have a shower? Oh, lovely. Excellent. Let's get you some breakfast. Uh, if you say so. What's to eat around here? Delicacies beyond your wild comprehension. We only eat the finest the island of Santa Lucia has to offer. The two travel far and wide to come to the place of magical wonders. The refectory. I heard the refect used to sell garbage. Yes, yes, excellent garbage. We only need the finest reviews. Uh, yes, this is lovely. Oh, bin juice, my favorite meal. Amazing, isn't it? <sighs> Sophia had an interesting day ahead of her. A day of magic and of wonder and craftery. First, they collected the garbage. Precious, precious. A coffee cup. You have to protect this coffee cup. Am I missing something here? And then they made the bins. I think this time the ibis might choose one of my bins for the ceremony. Your bin? Never. The ibis will choose my bin again and again and again. Is bin crafting as good as it gets here? And after a hard day's bin craftery, Sophia is left feeling very dirty. Oh, I feel so dirty after touching all that garbage. Good, good. Uh, I suppose there's no way I could take a... Uh, I guess not. No Ibis today? Ibis, always Ibis. Ibis never leave us. <gasps> Having fun? I mean, you are no longer un unclean. Yes, no longer un unclean. Sacrifice day preparations had begun. The citizens of Santa Lucia were in festive spirits. Uh, would you like to come with me to, to the bin dance? Does it require getting 
dirty? Yes. Very dirty. Uh, okay. Oh. Good. Good. I'll uh, see you there. What do I wear? Yes! What do they wear? Traditionally, bin dancers adorn themselves with elegant material made from Merlot coffee cups, soy sauce fish, and used pizza boxes. Soon after... Come, come, come. It's time to worship. Oh, sweet Lord, take away our sins. Take away our sins, O oh Lord. Bless us, dear Lord. Bless us and our sins. I mean, take away our sins. Bless us. We treat our, our sins for beans. Bins. Yes, more bins. Bins are wins. Yes, we wins. What? Sophia, Sophia, pick me, pick me, pick me. Uh, pick you for what? Pick me for sacrifice. Sacrifice? She had heard too much. Sophia was to be sacrificed. This island wasn't always populated by garbage and ibis. At one point, it was a thriving community of students, teachers, garbage and ibis. There used to be a law department, but they rebelled, and the ibis god destroyed them. The music department survived, but we have forgotten about them. It's almost like we can still hear them playing. The socialists are still here too, but uh, we all avoid them, just like in the good old days. <laughs> but with more ibis and more garbage. I noticed you didn't volunteer to be sacrificed. Are you having forbidden feelings? No, no, definitely not. A hail ibis, yeah. Hail the feathery phoenix. Blessed be the bins. If you refuse the opportunity to be sacrificed, you know, it will bring face face dishonor to your name. Yeah, definitely. Looking forward to um, a life in eternal pollution. My dreams would come true. Hail Ibis. Yes, yeah. Hail, hail Ibis. You must pick me. What? Why do you want to be sacrificed? It is a custom to sacrifice a couple to a great Ibis god. You will be sacrificed and you must choose lovers to take with you. Share the eternal afterlife of pollution. Choose me. I am not a sacrifice. It is a great dishonor to be sacrificed to the Ibis God. After some sorties of sacrifice day, you will be sacrificed. Well, Sophia looks for a way to escape this perilous plight. She, for a time, pretends to accept their plans and join their way of life. Sophia joins the community for the bin dance. What do you think? Very, very traditional. She's becoming one lover. She's becoming un, un, unclean. She looks rubbish. Magnificently rubbish. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> the vice chancellor approaches. Blend in, blend in, blend in. Let's the celebration commence. Good God, here I go. Uh, what do you call this dance? I've never experienced anything quite like it. It's called the Filthy Ibis Dance. I think I'm finally getting the hang of it. Yeah, yeah, you're really becoming part of the community here. Thanks, it helps when you're around. You're looking very dirty tonight, man. I like that rugged look. <laughs> Grubby be thy face. Thank you, Vice Chancellor. This is Sophia. Oh, I've heard much <coughs> about you. I hear you're excellent at bin craftery. Maybe you could craftery a bin sometime. Ah, uh, maybe, Chancellor. Next Tuesday, then? Uh, sure, for sure, for sure. We'll see you there, Vice Chancellor. Uh, so sorry about that. No, no worries. I I'm really hoping to be sacrificed with you. What? I hope you choose me. I'm sorry, what? I want to be sacrificed with you. Uh, no, uh, I'm not being sacrificed. It's a great honor, uh, apparently. Uh, you want to be sacrificed? Yeah, of course I do. Definitely, I definitely do. Well, I don't. 
You have to be. The great Ibis God sent you to us to be sacrificed. That's why you're here. What kind of cult is this? It's, it's not a cult. It's a way of life. We are one with the Ibis. You don't honestly believe that, do you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, of course not. Uh, I can't keep up this stupid charade any longer. Do you know how annoying it is to believe in this crap? I'm sick of it. Every time someone washes ashore, we go through this whole ritual of preparing them to be sacrificed, and every time I almost am. So pick me, don't pick me, I don't care anymore. Then I pick you. No, no, no wait, I don't, don't want to die. Then run! Sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. I don't see anything sacrifice, we can use to escape. Let's face it, we're, we're not going to. Sacrifice, <laughs> sacrifice, sacrifice. Goodbye, cruel world. Sacrifice, sacrifice, And so it was that our dear friend Sophia and the traitor Ben were sacrificed to the Ibis God. And the rubbish crops grew, and the worshippers prospered, and the Ibis God showered them all in bin juice. And like the garbage birds they worship, they loved it. The end.